Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very long overdue uh, haul video for you. Um, this is a Candles from the Keeping Room haul review. Um, basically, Carol, who is the owner of Candles from the Keeping Room, um, opened up her site um, sometime in January. It was like end of January sometime um, or mid-January. And basically the way that she works as she accepts the first 200 orders and after that she shuts down her site um, and she mentioned that she would be doing um, another opening another restock opening in February for people who weren't able to order in January um, I think she just announced today though on her Facebook page group uh, or Facebook group page that she would actually have this second opening in March I think like March 4th I want to say so um, she's always asked that people who put in their orders or get orders in um, not order again when she does the second opening just to give other people a chance to to get some of her wax. Um, she's got a great reputation in the wax community. Um, she basically is known for being super generous with samples, which is always, always appreciated, um, mainly just because, you know, a lot of times you don't really know what to order unless you smell it. So samples are a great way to get to see what you like, what you don't like, what you want to order the next time around. She has a very extensive scent list um, and just whenever she opens it, it always just varies. Um, this was actually my first time ordering from her and I made out pretty successfully. I want to say I got a lot of the things that were on my wish list. Um, one thing you want to do is be really organized. Um, I made a wish list and I categorized it by category of where to find it on her site so that when she opened, I could get in there, get what I wanted, and get out. Um, so I'm gonna, this is probably gonna be a two, and this will obviously be a two part video, maybe even three parts, just because um, there's, there's a lot of stuff to get through. So today's video is mainly gonna be the samples that I got and a few of the um, things that I had ordered. But I mean, if you guys can see, oh, I couldn't even fit it all on the screen. Um, all of these things in these single bags are samples. And she packs it in this cute little bag that she draws on. And then I just have a few things um, that I ordered here that will make it into this video. So I'm going to get through this pretty quickly because I don't want this video to be like an hour long. Um, but this is the first sample, coconut rum cake. I believe this was a new, um, a new blend that she added in for samples. Um, so coconut rum cake is dark rum, uh, let me see, dark rum, banana, condensed milk, coconut cream, and vanilla sugar. And this is really good. I get that coconut rum right away. Um, it's, it's a darker rum, so it's a little bit bolder. And I get that coconut, that coconut cream. I'm not picking up the banana, but this is really good. This reminds me definitely of, um, almost not as sweet as a Malibu rum type of a drink, but um, this is really good. Okay, the next is Skittles type, and obviously that's gonna be just like the candy here. And she is really, I mean, first of all, look how cute this little tart shape is. She's kind of known for um, having really unique molds that she pours her wax in. This is a two-toned one, but it's, look at the detail on that, it's just so cute. And yeah, this one smells like Skittles. It smells like um, that citrus, citrus Skittles. I get the lime, the lemon, and the orange. This is really good, and it's really strong. Um, her wax is, like I mentioned earlier, it's paraffin. It doesn't need any cure time, so when you get it, you can melt it right away. Obviously, if you do cure it, it's only just going to get stronger. But her wax is pretty strong. Um, I've been melting already a little bit from some of the things that I had ordered. Um, and I can really attest that her stuff throws really great. Um, so this is Sweet Tart Little Bites. And this is Sweet Tarts Candy and Sweet Cookie. And this is good. I get the Sweet Tarts right away, that like sweet citrusy candy. And I get a little hint of like a bakery note from the sugar cookie. But mostly it's, it's that Sweet Tart, Citrus Sweet Tart Candy um, that I get. All right, next is Wedding Cake. And wedding cake is, what is wedding cake? Sweet white cake with no cherry, because I think a lot of vendors sometimes their white cake um, has a cherry note in it. This has no cherry note, and it's um, sweet white icing. And this is really good. 
I don't really know the difference between like a white cake note and like yellow cake scent note. But yeah, this smells like a sweet cake. And I get some of that like sugar icing on top. This is really, this is really good. I think this will be another strong performer. This one might be one of my favorite in the sample collection here. This is Love in the Orchard. And Love in the Orchard, first of all, it's in this cute little like peach shape. I mean, it's just so cute. And this is pretty pink color. Um, Love in the Orchard is orange, juicy peach, apricot, or apricot, gardenia, jasmine, and dry musk. And this one is so good. It's so strong. I get the apricot and the peach, and I get some of that. I don't really get too much of the gardenia, but I get some of that jasmine. Like it's a little perfumey, but it's like a sweet apricot peach perfume. This is just so beautiful. Like I would bathe in this if I could. This is just such a beautiful scent. And it really does smell like an orchard, like a peach orchard, an orange orchard. And it's just really good. Okay, next is Monster Jam. I think, I want to say I think this was a new one, this, this restock. Um, another really cute sun tart. And this one, Monster Jam, is fresh jams and preserves. So it's like wild cherry, strawberry, raspberry, apricot, and more. And this is good. This is another strong one. And I'm getting, yeah, I mean, it smells like a bunch of different fruits like jam it's a very jammy type of a note really good really strong this is a good one I think that'll be another strong color now this one I didn't I wasn't lucky enough to snag fresh picked strawberry uh, as an order but I was so happy to see that she included a sample of this because um, Carol is really known for her having a really great strawberry oil um, so her strawberry wax First of all, it's like her, her top sellers. Um, fresh picked strawberry, I think, is like her number one seller, and it's always the first thing to go. That was the first thing I tried to get, and I mean, I was on her site the moment it opened, and I could not snag this. So it just went by so quick. People just grabbed this, but look how cute this wax tart is. It's just these cute little baby strawberries. And they just look so yummy. And this is, I mean, oh, I wish you guys could smell this through my video. I mean, when I, when I heard that people were going crazy over her strawberry blends and that she just had a really great strawberry, I was like, okay, yeah, I love strawberry blends. Like, I'm going to try it. They were not lying. And this is not just hype. Like, she, this is good. I mean, it's not like... It's not like a, um, like I think it's really hard to capture the actual fragrance of real juicy strawberries. Like I, I go strawberry picking. I actually grew up with strawberry patches in our garden. And so I used to strawberry pick all the time when I was a little girl. And to tell you the truth, when you actually pick strawberries, it's more of an herbal type of a note than it is like strawberry candy. You know what I mean? Like actual strawberries themselves don't really have a very strong smell so this I won't say smells like an actual strawberry that you're picking off of the patch but this smells like a sweet strawberry kind of like a strawberry candy almost it's just so good like I don't know how you could not like this it's really good is it authentic strawberry? No, but at the same time, I don't know if authentic strawberry would actually even smell all that great in wax. Like I don't, I think it would be too light. This is strong and it's good. Um, along the same lines, I tried to get strawberry cotton candy when she um, offered that and I could not snack that either. That was like my number two I wanted. This is a little pot, little grubby pie. Um, and this one, so good. I mean, you get that fresh picked strawberry mixed with that sweet cotton candy, and it's like sugared strawberry. This smells like sugared strawberry. Like you got, like almost like a strawberry glaze. Like my mom used to make the strawberry glaze, and this kind of smells like that. It smells really good, really, really good. Her strawberry blends are like no joke. Okay, this one is Cuban Colada, and I think this is a new one. This go around. This is a little cookie with a little 
frosting or not frosting what are that sprinkles <laughs> um, Cuban colada is pineapple juice banana grated cinnamon and sweet coconut milk and yeah I get the banana first like the banana coconut and then I get the pineapple juice and the pineapple juice it's different than like a pineapple slice to me like I love pineapple in my buns and this smells like pineapple juice and not like a slice of pineapple but yeah, I get the banana and the coconut and the pineapple juice. I don't really pick up cinnamon. Maybe that comes out a little bit when, you, when it's warmed, but this is a good one. If you like pineapple and coconut, that's a good one. The next one is lavender berry fluff. And Tara, when, she, when you check out on her site, she puts a little um, entry box on her order form where you can list out samples that you would like for her to include. Because she provides a sample list on her Facebook group. Um, and, and she you know, kind of tells you what she's offering, this restock for, for scents, but then she also puts what she's offering in samples. And so you can actually say, like when you're ordering, hey, I want this sample. So this is actually one that I said I really wanted, um, lavender berry fluff. And this one is berry lavender blend with sweet marshmallow. And this is really good. I get the lavender, I get that berry, and I get the fluff, I get the marshmallow. This is a really good blend. I get all three of those notes. And the berry, I would say, is more like a darker berry. Like a blackberry almost. But this is really good. And it's this cute little grubby heart. And I just, I love how her wax, like I love how it's kind of like frosted a little bit on the top. Like, you see how it's kind of like two-toned? But it's like, all of her wax just has kind of this like, you know, like, like it's just really beautiful I, I love that I don't know I don't know what she does I don't know how she pours it to make it like this frosted maybe that's just the paraffin I don't know but I just love that I think it's just really cool it's got a really great like texture to it okay this is yum yum buttery rum and this is vanilla simmering and rum topped with fresh cream and nutmeg and cinnamon and this is good if you like like buttery, sweet, boozy scents, you would like this. Because I get, I get that rum, I get the vanilla, the vanilla really shines through really nicely. I get the nutmeg, I don't really get cinnamon, I get the nutmeg more than the cinnamon. But this is really good. Like this is something I would probably melt during the holidays, because it just like hot buttered rum, like those sorts of things are kind of like, for me, somewhat of a comfort type of a, smell like so I would melt this in the in the fall and winter this is good though and it smells strong so I think that'll be good I was excited to get um well I wasn't familiar with three wishes tea but I was excited to get can you guys see what this is look at this little bunny it is so I mean the detail you can see like the fur and it's two-toned and this is a nice size like I am not gonna want to melt this guy he's just so cute um, but this is Three Wishes Tea, and Three Wishes Tea is Rebo's Tea Blend, which is like a, a more of a um, kind of like a fruity tea blend. Like it's not caffeinated; it's like red. Um, it has peach pieces, rhubarb, silky rosebuds, um, and marigolds and tea leaves. So this is a bunch of different stuff, and this is good. I get the peach pieces, I get the rosebuds, and the marigold, and I definitely get the tea. And almost like a bit of a honey. There's like a little bit of a honey note in there. Is this strong though? This is very strong. I think this will be a really strong performer. So this is a nice one. This is this is very complex. It's a very complex one. So this is good. And it's super adorable. Okay, next is, I was excited about this, Honey Pear Cider Type. And I'm assuming that this is a, a Scentsy dupe. I um, Honey Pear Cider is probably one of my favorite Scentsy waxes like when I first started melting wax I was really into Scentsy and Honey Pear Cider was just like my go-to fall wax to, to melt um, so I'm assuming that this is supposed to be a dupe of Scentsy and it smells just like it I mean it smells like this is warm juicy pear sweet honey with hints of spice and yes that's a, it's right on um, I mean you get the honey you get that fresh pear you get that cider type of a, of a note in there and you get the spices that come with that cider. It's really bright, really sweet with that pear and it's such a cute little, like, look at this little mitten. It's like the size of my hand, it's so cute. But yeah, this is good. The only thing I didn't like about the Scentsy 
honey pear cider is that it wasn't very strong. Like it was strong when you would smell it on cold, but it wouldn't throw hardly at all. I think this is super strong on cold and I have a feeling just because I've melted her wax before, Carol's wax before, I think this thing is gonna be super strong, a uh, strong thrower. So yeah, this is good. This is really good. If you like pear and you like any kind of cider type scents, you would like that. This one, persimmon, was the this was a surprise to me i didn't okay i've grown up eating persimmons but i know don't really know what they smell like like i never paid attention to what they actually smelled like but here this is another little adorable bunny so cute and persimmon is fresh fresh citrus with a hint of sweetness it's fresh crisp and clean and this is probably my favorite out of this sample out of the samples that she gave me. Like this and fresh picked strawberries, just oh, so good. But this was a surprise winner to me. Like I'm gonna be, next time she opens, like obviously I'm not gonna be ordering in her March opening because I ordered in her January and obviously I want people, other people to get a chance to order her stuff because it's amazing. But man, the next time I have a chance to order and if she offers persimmon, I'm ordering two bags of this. I think I think she only allows you to order two bags of the same um, same blend just so that way you're not like taking out everything and not letting other people order. But this is good. I don't know how to explain this. It's almost like it's got a peachy apricot type of it. Like it reminds me of peach. It reminds me of, okay, one of my favorite fragrances, like home fragrances, was um, Pure One Imports like the furniture store, the home decor store, um, used to have a home fragrance called Gingered Peach. And that was like, I mean, I had it in room spray, I had the candles, and it was so good. It was like a very complex peach that it was just so good. This persimmon is not peach, obviously it's persimmon, but it reminds me of that. It, it's This is strong, it's got that, like I said, that peachy apricot, type of a, you know, it's got, I feel like it's just got, I don't know, I don't know. It's got, it doesn't say there's spices in here, but it's got a complexity to it that I don't know how to describe. All I can say is that this sucker, man, next time she, next time I order, this is mine. I This is gonna be my number one thing I go after. This is so good. And I think that this thing will also be a really strong performer. Okay, my last sample, you guys, this is just the sample. 17 minutes in and I'm still doing samples. <laughs> um, this is pineapple banana, pretty self-explanatory, but it's um, tropical daiquiri of pineapple, banana cream, and mango puree. And yeah, I get the pineapple first. I get the mango and then I get the banana. Like the banana is not a strong note. Um, like I wouldn't have picked out mango if I didn't read the scent description, but I smell the pineapple mango first. This is good though. It smells like a it smells like a daiquiri, like a pineapple mango with some banana daiquiri. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so yeah, 18 minutes in, and that was all of the samples. Um, like I said, Carol is so generous with samples, and as a customer, I really appreciate that because, like, there are things here that I would never have thought of maybe ordering, but like persimmon, for example. Like, I am gonna be ordering that sucker. Like, and I wouldn't have even thought about that as something to order. So I really appreciate samples because it does give me a chance to smell things or you know try things out that I never would have thought to before. Love in the Orchard, another really great one. I mean, these are just so great. Okay, so let me actually get through some of the things I actually ordered. Um, let me do this one first. This is Strawberry Cookie. Um, and I haven't melted this one yet. And I got, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven of these little sugar cookie tarts in here. Um, so strawberry cookie, I wrote down as many of the scent descriptions as I can to be prepared for you guys. Um, now let me try to find it. So this is self-explanatory, strawberry and sugar cookie. And this is good. I get the, the sugar cookie first and then the sweetness of her fresh picked strawberry in there. This is really yummy and it's gorgeous. It's this beautiful pink color with the sprinkles and it just, again, it's got that like frosted paraffin wax on the top that looks like frosting. It's just her wax is gorgeous, guys. I love it. Yeah, this is so good. Definitely pleased with that one. All right, this one is Caramel Sticky Buns and pretty self-explanatory as well as Caramel Sticky Buns. 
And this, I mean, it's so cute. It looks like a little, a little mini baby sticky bun. Um, this one I did melt. I melt, I melted three of these already. Actually, no, I melted two of these. I, I did two of these and I split them into four warmers. So I cut each one in half and distributed it between four more warmers. I have a warmer in my kitchen and then warmers in my living room. And I can say that this thing was so strong it threw really well and it, it was so sweet like you get the caramel you get the cinnamon and it smelled like it, it doesn't smell like a cinnabon you know if you're familiar with cinnabons it doesn't smell like that i mean it smelled like gooey sticky caramel cinnamony caramel and it was just delightful it was so so yummy so I can I can say from experience that that one is a strong performer like I said I cut two of those in half and split it between four warmers and it threw in my entire house okay this one is sugar cookie corn pudding and this one is sweet cookie and sugar corn pudding um, sugar corn corn pudding is um, not familiar with that as like a scent note like and I don't it's not something I eat but this is really good I get the sugar cookie right away and I do get like a sweet pudding and not like a vanilla pudding I guess it would be the corn but I mean it doesn't smell like buttery corn or anything like that it smells like you know actually what this reminds me of um, Thanksgiving one year my brother or maybe it was somebody I don't remember who somebody made like a corn pudding casserole and it, it smells like this it smelled it smelled yummy and so this smells like sugar cookies and like that that corn pudding that sweet corn it's like a sweet corn oh, this is so good so I haven't melted this one yet I'm gonna actually probably save this for the fall and like holiday season because this reminds me of Thanksgiving but this one um, it's only gonna get stronger and you know when I let it cure it doesn't need to cure but it's just gonna get stronger, so I'm excited about them. Um, this one is Berry Custard Tort, and this is, am I in focus screen there? There we go. This is wild blueberries, sweet raspberries, creamy custard, a tiny hint of cinnamon, sweet sugar, vanilla, and pie crust. There is a lot going on here. And I have melted this one. I melted um, two of these, and this thing is strong as well. I mean, all of her wax so far, I've not been disappointed with the strength and the throw. I would say everything that I've melted so far of hers has been at least a medium to medium high. Some of these have been strong throwers, like full house throwers. But this one, yeah, I get, it's like a blueberry and raspberry. I get the bakery in there. If you like fruity bakery or like berry bakery, like blueberry bakery stuff, you would love this. This is good. This is, yeah, it's, it reminds me of like a blueberry, sweet blueberry muffin. Um, it, it's good or like a blueberry cake Ugh, blueberry pie like it's just good okay so I did manage to grab some strawberry um, some strawberries from her so she's kind of known to also have this adorable little strawberry mold where it looks like a legit strawberry like if I've stuck this in a bowl and put it on my counter or on my table my daughters would think that these were real strawberries and then they would eat it and then they would be really disappointed because it would not taste like strawberries, it would be wax. But this is just like so authentic looking. So this is strawberry milk and it's supposed to be sweet cream mixed with fresh strawberry. It's supposed to smell like, you know, like strawberry milk, like strawberry syrup and milk. And that's what it does smell like. I've melted one of these, I melted one of these in my kitchen. And I will say that it smells like strawberry milk but I'm not a huge strawberry milk fan like in real life I would much prefer chocolate milk um, so this while this yes it smells like strawberry milk it's not my favorite um, mainly just because it's I mean it is very milky um, and it's just you know I mean yeah like I said it smells like strawberry milk if you like the smell of strawberry milk you would love this it's just for me personally this isn't my favorite but it is super adorable okay sorry about reaching over um, this is strawberry satsuma and this is beautiful little sun tarts. I have not melted these yet because strawberry and satsuma are some of my favorite scent notes. Um, this one obviously is fresh picked strawberry and satsuma, which if you're not familiar with satsuma, that's a body shop um, fragrance. And basically it's like mandarin, um, 
like mandarin, tangerine, bergamot, like kind of that citrus, orangey, citrusy type of a, of a blend. Um, this set, hers, she says she has a hint of spice and exotic fruits as well. But this is good. You get the strawberry, you get the satsuma. It's a really bright, fresh, fruity, summery blend. This is good. I'm gonna probably hold on to this for the summer because just Satsuma just for me is a very summery type of a, of a scent note. But yeah, this is really good and it's adorable and it's two-toned and I can't wait to melt this, but this is a really good one. Okay, um, so this one is Berry Vanilla Fluff. Looks like this, it's pretty like cool crystal blue. And this is White Cake, Marshmallow Fluff, Raspberry, Strawberry, and Buttercream Frosting. And I have melted this, I melted two or three of these. And this is another one that's really strong. Um, this one actually reminds me of, I mean, yeah, you get the, the, like, the raspberry and the strawberry in there, and you definitely get the sweetness from like the marshmallow and the frosting. But, okay, when I was younger, we used to do like Hawaiian shave ice, and we would have this syrup that we would pour on top. And it was this like blue raspberry type of a syrup, um, but it was almost like, it didn't really smell like blue raspberry, it just kind of smelled like sweet, syrup like this reminds me of this like this to me smells like Hawaiian shave ice like this is good like this is really good and it's almost got like a I know it doesn't say cotton candy but it almost has a cotton candy sugar type of a, of a note in there for me so this is good I like I said I've melted this one and it was really good and it was strong so the last one for this video that I'm gonna go over guys is wild mountain honey and I have not melted this yet but it comes in this really cute little like cruller type of a of a wax tart shape um, and this one is sweet honey um, this is in her perfumey section and or perfume section and this one is so somebody on her Facebook group page had asked like what are some of her big room blends like what are some ones that are just gonna throw really strong and big rooms and a lot of people were saying wild mountain honey wild mountain honey so I love a strong throw um, I just do. I like being able to walk in the room and be hit with it. <laughs> I like to be able to smell it throughout the day um, and not just be so used to it that I don't smell it anymore. So I added this one to my cart because I was really, I wanted something strong and I love honey scents. And this one is very strong. Like even just having everything here on the table, not holding it up to my nose, I can smell this one. It's super strong. This is one that I would probably cut in half and maybe just melt one of these split between like two warmers because it just seems like it would throw really strong. But this one is, it's, yes, you get the honey in there, but it's perfumey. So it's a perfumey honey. And it makes sense to me. Like at first when I was looking through her website and putting together my wish list, I was like, why is Wild Mountain Honey in the perfume section? Like that didn't make sense to me. Now after smelling it, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's why. Because it's definitely a strong, honey perfume note and it's good it's a good one if you like honey you would like this but it's don't think it's going to be like an oatmeal like an oatmeal milk and honey type of a scent because it's not like that it's not understated this is a strong in your face honey perfume note so like i said oh this is a 28 minute long video and all i did was go through like one two three four like a few of my things that i'd ordered and then like 15 samples so like I said, here is what I ordered, or I'm sorry, what I got in samples. And here's only just like a fraction of my order. So my next video, I'm gonna go through the rest of my order. Hopefully it will not be as long as this video, but fair warning guys, it really might be. <laughs> um, anyways, thank you guys for sticking through and watching it this long. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, especially if you do want to check out what I got in the rest of my candles from the Keeping Room order. She's got a restock coming up in March, so you know if you're starting to kind of figure out what you want to put on your wish list, then definitely subscribe so that you don't miss my next video. All right, thanks guys. Have a great day. Bye.